Oops. Stop. Start. Hey guys, welcome to Modern Modern Jerry Guru Games. This is round two. Oh, oh this is round two. Uh, we have Ian Tan versus Aloysius Go. I'll be your host for today. I'm on Film Poon here at Grilga Games. Joining me shortly will be Pretty Girl, Bunsu. And uh, yeah, now we have a game. Not sure what either player is playing. Aloysius Go scratching his head. I don't think he knows what he's playing either. I see mere battle sphere in Ian's hand. Here comes Mox Opal. Okay, so he's some sort of artifact deck. I don't think he's playing Affinity. That's too that's too that's too mainstream for him. Here comes uh Scalding Tan for Aloysius Go. Gonna fetch out that land. Oh, oh man. Watery Graves. Some sort of Grixis. Kururu. Tron X. Is that what it's called? Tron X. Oh boy. I've never seen Tron X before, but here comes Thoughtseize. Maybe Aloysius will see some Tron X. Uh, Inventor's Fair, Mirror Retriever, and Mirror Battle Sphere. Very interesting. And a Glint's, Glint Nest Crane. The new card from Color Dash. So this card's the Glint Nest Crane. Probably doesn't want uh, Ian to have too explosive of a start. Hey, wants to. Hi, Elfin. <coughs> Alright, so please mirror retriever. Does have does not have any targets. Oh. Uh yes, he was. He was the replay just now. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he's playing the same deck though. I, th I think he was playing something else just now. So yeah, mirror retriever, not the biggest threat for Lush's go right now, but uh, definitely something he does not want to see on the field because. You generally don't want to see cards on your opponent's side of the field. That's the game. Terminate. Wait, terminate on the spot? Oh, okay. So, before that resolves, I'm gonna crack that Chromatic Sphere. Oh, and retrieve the Chromatic Sphere. Very nice. Is the feature working? Yes, the no, the feature's not working. I tried I tried to fix the feature just now, but it didn't work for some reason. Oh, Mick, Mick fixed it the other day, right? No, it didn't. I think it did. did he? I don't know. I tried to fix the. Tried to dun, fix the dun, dun. No, this is iron crack. <laughs> this is crack iron works combo. Oh man, it's everyone's favorite deck. Crack iron works. What does that card do? So crack iron works read. www dot crack iron. Crack <laughs> clan iron works reads. Sacrifice an artifact. Add two to your mana pool. Okay. It's like Ashnot's altar, but for artifacts. Cool. Very sounds nice. sounds like a good value actually. Yes, it is good value. So here comes Death Shadow. Gonna be cycled for Aloysius. Gonna draw that that good stuff. Did he get the good stuff? He got Steam Vents. I guess that counts as good stuff. Taps to Steam Vents. Probably gonna see Serum Visions for Aloysius go here. No. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna draw one, scry two. I'm gonna look at my Facebook for a bit. So what do you think of this matchup, Elfin? I think this matchup is could be anyone's game. Because uh Ian Tan is playing a control a uh, combo deck, sorry. Aloysius Go is playing a very synergistic deck. Okay. But all it takes for Ian to win is just to combo off. Is that Grixis? Yes, that's Grixis oh, okay. Death Shadow. Wow, for once, let's have a look at who plays Grixis Death Shadow. Yes, let's look at a proper Grixis yes. Death Shadow. <laughs> yes. Wait, where is Nikto, by the way? Oh, uh, he didn't feel like coming today, actually. Oh. Yep. Don't worry, there'll be a next week. And the, the week after. He wasn't here last week. Uh, there were the mid semester test. Oh, okay then that yeah okay that makes yep. sense. Anyway, Crack Ironworks uh able to able to sacrifice his own chromatic sphere for mana and a draw. Cause chromatic sphere reads if this card hits the graveyard, draw card. 
Is that what it reads? Oh no, Chronic Spear. Uh, only you only draw a card off Chronic Spear if you if it goes to graveyard by the effect. Okay, so the Krug Clan Ironworks does not really go well with that. Gonna sacrifice, sacrifice the Mox Opal though. Right, so now he said, uh, one green, two colorless. Gonna start counting the mana now. Thank you, courtesy to Kyo. Stream is so dark. Uh, actually, yeah, it is a bit dark. Yeah, uh, there's a light that isn't turned on. Let me, let me do it. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah, thanks MSZA for pointing that out. I will increase the contrast a bit. Yeah, because I'll due to technical difficulties, oh, our lighting is uh, actually not working very well today. <laughs> Alright, so I increased it to the most I can. That's... Oh, that's Scrap Troll. That's a Scrap Trawler. Alright, so this is indeed... Uh, this is indeed uh, the... Ironworks combo deck. So let's let's to for those new to the game or does not know how the combo interacts. Scrap trawler reads, whenever scrap trawler or another artifact you control is put into the graveyard, from the battlefield, return to your hand target artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. So that means when you sacrifice your say chromatic sphere, for two mana you are going to draw. With the current chromatic sphere, for the effect, you are going to get back your Mox Opal, which comes in, taps for mana, and you can sacrifice that for another 2 mana. So this keeps going on and on until he eventually hits his uh, big finisher. So he plays uh, Prophetic Prism, I think that's Prophetic Prism. So is he actually executing the combo now? Yes, he is in the midst of executing the combo. Oh wow. So that he cracks that for 2 mana. Just back his sphere, and then cracks open the sphere, draws a card. Then he can get back his Mox Opal, then he can play that, tap that for mana, and crack the Opal, get two more mana, and he goes on and on and on until so something happens. Does the combo have to happen with just those two cards, or is it possible with other artifact cards? Just these two. There's oh, okay. a Scrap Trawler, Krug Clan, Ironworks, and some other stuff. Okay, that's so quite that interesting. Gives gets one green mana. Sacrifice gets two colorless mana. What does he have? He so play. at this point, what is Aloysius waiting for? Aloysius is waiting for Ian to break. <laughs> Here comes Mere Battle Sphere. So let's see what Mere Battle Sphere reads. Mere Battle Sphere reads when this card enters the battlefield, put four one one colorless mere artifact tokens. Onto the battlefield when it's attacks, you may tap X, not tap mirror you control. If you do, this card gets plus X plus zero until end of turn and it deals X damage to a defending player. So this card, so this mirror battle sphere essentially comes in with four other mirrors and counts as four artifacts, which gives Ian a grand total of ten mana. Whoa. That's okay. a lot of mana. And then he's gonna keep doing this until he reaches Emrakul or something. And this is where Aloysius Scoops raises the white flag. Yes, like France. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, we are supposed to be politically neutral. I Elfin. hate Lee Kuan Yew. <gasps> hey, that's blasphemy. You really can't say that. Oh, sorry. I, no, Lee Kuan Yew is, I, I, have, I have great respect for Lee Kuan Yew. He was a man who came, who was who who saw that his country, who loved his country. He saw his country's horrible state. He was like, this can be a better country. Then he was like, this can be a better country. And so it, became, it became, this bad. is a better country. Yes. Yeah, it became a better yes. country. Okay. Then Good he job. gave, then he and his, then he and his wife gave birth to the biggest piece of shit ever. Hey, but that's a story hey for now. another day. Hey <laughs> now. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, so both players going to go to the sideboard right now. Or like go to Facebook and Is that online. actually a way for Aloysius to you know like maybe In interact with the combo? Yeah. Kill him faster. <laughs> okay. I I I guess that's a way. Yes. So uh, you see, the one counter to anyone, right? No one not many people know this, but if they die, they can't cast spells. 
Whoa! Right. I mean, Ian Tan, he can't... He has Scrap Crawler, he has Crowd Clan Ironworks, right? Yep. He can't combo off. Because he's dead. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Exactly, so... Ultimate yeah, conspiracy much. theory. Uh, also, uh, Kyuru does point out Stony Silence. But Aloysius does not have access to white, I think, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's Grixis. It's Grixis Death Shadow. Uh, some Grixis Death Shadow decks do splash white for Path to Exile. What? And some sideboard options. So that could be a possibility for Aloysius Go. Unfortunately, I do not think he, uh, he is running that package at the moment. So uh, we'll just have to see him struggle quite a bit as he races the clock. Thanks. Thanks. Look as uh, well, let's just go. Ha we'll have to work through the clock to race Ian Tan before Ian manages to assemble the combo, or hope that Ian Tan breaks long enough that Lushes will be slowly able to grind him out. What do you think, Wansu? I think Ian's deck is very solid, and it's kind of a bad matchup. Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, Ilham Risky does point out some Grixis Death Shadow lists have by force and ceremonious rejection sideboard. So that's pretty good. So those are some uh, blue counter spells and answers against this Ian Tan's combo deck. Combo decks uh, tend to be weak to counter spells. So Yep, Aloysius Go probably have, has that his in his sideboard plan. Otherwise, his sideboard might as well not be a sideboard. <laughs> might as well be a booster pack. <laughs> Alright. <our> <laughs> it is like the one card in Hearthstone. Yes. Armor Cat, booster pack, of course. The worst EV currently we have. Is it? Yes, it is. So tell I thought me. it was BFZ. Nope. Okay, so tell me what's a good rare or mythic from Among Cats? Ronas. And? And? <laughs> and? Uh, well, Glorybringer isn't that bad. Okay, and? We have two right now. Okay. Well, there are some zombie synergistic cards. Last I checked, we were overstocked on zombies. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a very cheap deck. For its tier. Or am I wrong to say that? Yes, but are those cards in Amuket? Or are they in Eldritch Moon and Kala Dash and Ether Revolt? Well, they, they're all scattered everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> well, is it, is it wrong for me to say that? I'm, I, I'm saying that it's wrong to, for you to say that Amuket has, has a positive EV. I'm not saying that. I, I was yeah. just wondering. It, it's then quite surprising. Then that's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a strong advocate of getting positive EV for your booster packs. So, yeah. So that's why you have to buy Final Fantasy Opus booster packs. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy TCG. Buy yep. them now before they run out of stock. Yeah. For oh, those wait. who didn't know, Grey Ogre Games is actually. Hosting Final Fantasy games every Monday and Fridays. Yes, yes. Come here on Friday and we'll have some fun. I have a deck too. Do you have a deck? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just go, going to go to Malt 6. Ian Tan can really spy in his hand uh, the Krak Ironworks and some other stuff. I think we see Ancient Stirrings there too. Ancient Stirrings, of course, being a for, uh, enabling him to search through his deck or the search through the top of his deck for more artifacts that he may need to combo off. Scrap Troller, of course, being one of them. Ilham just says, Lend me a D. Lend me a D. <laughs> Lend me a D. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Ilham? <laughs> Lend me a D, Alfie. Well, well, I mean, he has already broken fast. So. <laughs> I, guess, I guess. I guess after 7, 12, all this is all... All no bars held or something. No punches held. How was your mashed potato by the way? That was pretty good. <laughs> Definitely no bacon in it whatsoever. <laughs> so uh, let's just go fetching his watery graves off the bloodstained mire in response to Ian Tan's chromatic star. So chromatic star, if I'm not wrong. Uh, oh, 
to hunt man's deck. Mm. Mm. Hand me your deck. Alright, so Chromatic Star. Unlike Chromatic Spear, Chromatic Star reads, when Chromatic Star is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. So this can actually enter the graveyard from if from other effects besides itself, and you will still draw the card, such as a uh, card clan ironworks. So this uh, really puts the card that much above the chromatic sphere. And it puts Ian in a more significant advantage over Aloysius. Yes. Yes. You just added that in, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, not th- it doesn't exactly give him an advantage. It just makes his engine run much faster. Yes, yes. Which then translates to advantage. You just had to ha- add that in, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Lodge's turn. he draws. Plays Bloodstained Mire. Oh, Inquisition of Coast. Like, that's going to be really good here. But except he sees three copies of Clark Clan Ironworks. <gasps> oh, no. And then stares and, at... And, and uh, he, no. he rubs his forehead in consternation. No, no, this cannot be happening. So, yeah, takes the best choice he can right now. Takes out Ancient Stirrings. <sighs> Alright, his hand, he does have Snap Custom Mage, I think. So... Snap Custom Mage into Inquisition of Coast like again. Might be an option. Passes the turn back to Ian. Ian draws... Place the chromatic sphere, gonna net him a draw here. Oh, Sector of Ugin is a pretty good card. One thing to note, of course, is that the bat- the mere battle sphere is able to trigger the Sector of Ugin, which will let him uh which will let him search for an Emrakul Aeon Thorn. Alright, alright. If he draws surgical, he'll regret that. Yeah, that's that's true. Surgical extraction. Please do. Come on, Aloysius. Believe in the heart of cards. Believe. Tap three. All right. Let's see what happens. Gurmag Angler. All right. So that's gonna be a clock for Ian. Uh, unfortunately for Loisius, I'm not sure if that call's gonna be fast enough as here comes Kirk Clan Ironworks pumped out from Ian Tan. Oh boy, this is gonna be quite trouble. So right now Ian Tan, what he could use is a Mox Opal or Scrap Trawler for his engine to start going. But uh, it doesn't seem like he has he has that at the moment. What he can do, however, is he can cast his mere battle sphere by using his uh, Kirk Clan Ironworks to accelerate his mana. There, he can sacrifice. He can sacrifice the the chromatic star and the prism, prophetic prism. Sorry, to give him that much extra mana. And uh, Ian Tan missing the trigger for his uh, Inventor's Fair, missing out that extra life gain, which might be important. I don't know. Maybe. So please, another card clan ironworks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Does having two of it on the battlefield actually eight in the combo? No. Nope. I mean, I thought one one was enough. Yes. So what's his purpose of putting two? So he has more stuff to sacrifice card clan ironworks too. So they just kind of like sacrifice each other. Yes. Hmm. So, uh, card clan ironworks itself is an artifact, so yeah. he's able to feed one of the Krug Clan I works to the other for two mana. So he might as well do something this turn anyway if he does not have anything else to do. So here comes both creatures coming in for 11 damage which Ian Tan has to take down to four. Oh no! So what he needs right now off the top is Scrap Trawler. So you need to shout very loudly off top of your lungs Scrap Trawler. Scrap Trawler! Scrap Trawler! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, Elvian. Uh, scrap trawler. Scrap trawler. Did he draw the scrap trawler? It's actually a, a, a pretty exciting match. Yes. It's always exciting to see a combo deck. I, re- I really like this uh, Iron Cracks combo deck. It's a very goldfish deck. 
Goldfish? Yes. B- what it's, do you mean by that? It's when you play with yourself. Oh, okay. But why goldfish? I don't know. I think goldfish play themselves every time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's, that's what they do, right? No, I only know that they have a three second memory memory sp- span. Ah, okay. That means uh, it should not remember its own death. <laughs> All right. a, what a happy life for a goldfish. So Kiru just said he could have tutor for it. The Inventor's Fair. Yes. Very valid points right there. Inventor's Fair does enable you to tutor for stuff. So let's go. Uh, let's look out. Uh, Inventor's Fair. Let's look at what this card reads. For tap. Sacrifice Inventor's Fair, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Activate if you only have, if you have uh, three or more artifacts. So, yes, he could have done that. Very interesting point there by Q. Q. Okay, so it does have two prophetic prisms right now. I wonder if he's able to go off right now. Do you think he can go off? It's can possible, off? I think it's he's possible. Going he's going off, he's going off. So it gets lots of There mana. it goes, there it goes. Plays mere battle sphere. Oh, he's going off. I think he's enough. Yes, I think this is enough. Mere battle sphere. Sacrifice his two uh, sector of Ugins. He's going to get another mere battle sphere to net him the extra mana and Emrakul Aeon Stone and then he has enough mana to cast the Emrakul oh. <gasps> and there you have it and there you have it folks oh my god wow so talented <laughs> Ian Tan so let's just go preparing to scoop wow so hard wow life's so hard Unless and, and I, I was actually thinking Aloysius might be winning me too yeah but so anyway, yeah, Mere Battle Sphere does enter the battlefield. So can he, can he Amra- give Emrakul haste? No, but Emrakul can give you an extra turn. Ah, think point to hit. When you cast Emrakul, take an extra turn after this one. Oh well, so that's kind of like an equivalent of haste. I mean It's haste but not really. Yeah. <laughs> so Dark Steel Citadel, tap the Dark Steel Citadel for mana. I, I think Aloysius just died. He died. Wait for the summary dismissal, guys. According to... Emesada. Emesada. <laughs> Have you played Overwatch? Nope. Have you played Undertale? Nope. Have you played Overtale? Underwatch? Yes, that, that, that's my favourite game. Me too. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, I'm not sure what Ian's waiting for here. Is he is he tr- is he uh trying to play around corner spell? So he sacrifices his Dark Steel Citadel, plays another mere battle sphere. At this point he can sacrifice everything and just play the Emrakul. But uh, So what's stopping him? I don't know. Emrakul does have a line of text that's really spicy. You know what that the line is? It's the first line. Oh, it can't be counted. Exactly. You know what that means? If he slaps the Emrakul, he wins. So, Aloysius sees this and Ian's like, Haha, lol, I BM you. Is he? Probably. If the, Are you serious? At, at the rate he's going, probably. <laughs> oh, come on, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to round two of Grey Ogre Games. More than modern road to the Invitational. Sorry. Um, Ian Tan nets it 2 to 0. Very good. Very talent. Such skill. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Before that, is this deck actually a skill based deck? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Road to the Invitationals, what is the Invitationals? <gasps> it's. Well, tell, us, tell us more, Wensu. It's a contest? It's a competition where you can actually have a chance to. Take part as long as you visit Grilgo Games. Oh. Ooh. Wait, are you telling me by just playing in this modern event, 
I can have a I can get a shot at going to the invitational. Of course you can. Oh my god! Wait wait wait! <laughs> if I go to the invitationals, what do I win? You have a chance of being the first place. If if you are in the first place, you have a chance of winning a thousand and five hundred dollars in Whoa. cash. Wait, what does last place win? Uh, even even if you are in the last place, if as long as you are invited to the invitationals, you get at least one hundred and fifty. If Wait, I'm not so wrong. you're saying if I qualify, I'm guaranteed money. Yeah, you are, you're paid a hundred a uh, hundred bucks just to sit on the chair. So so wait, okay. So elaborate on this. Road to Invitationals. Just play some events here at Girl Games, and you will be eligible to participate in our seasonal qualifiers. Exactly. And after playing the seasonal qualifiers, you will be able to play in the Grand Grey Ogre Games Invitational. The qualifiers, of course, uh, we have three of them. If you win, if you top two, you get invite. If you get the most CP, you get invite. You get the most CP, uh, and you are under twenty. If you get the most CP under twenty one, you get invite. Yes. If you get, if you get the most CP, uh, as a new you, player, as a new player, you also get invite. Okay. If so you can it's not just that. You can literally get invite by being dead. What? <laughs> yeah, go on. Okay. So anyway, our first season is over with Jeffrey as our top player, and now we are currently in the middle of season two. Reeves? Yeah, oh, Reeves. Oh, yeah, okay. Reeves is our second player as well. And yes, the match is over w with Ian winning 2 0. However, they decided to go for a third game for fun. So, yeah, you can listen to us. <laughs> we can catch you guys in a bit for round three. See yes. Ya. See ya.